Mystery Lake, so far, has been between 33 and 50 percent. Nice to me. I might change my mind on that grade if I actually find a moose. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. Yeah, we, um, we've been through Trapper's Cabin. Did that at the end of the last episode. Not a lot going on in this, uh, in this place. I'm realizing just now that I had a dream that I found some revolver ammo in Trapper's Cabin last night. And I'm remembering it just as I begin recording here. There's not revolver ammo. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I can visualize where I saw it. But I have this cooking pot here. Now, I have the cooking pot, I believe, still at the... <laughs> let's not leave it behind again. Still at the office. So I don't know that I need to bring this one with me. And we are... Hmm, not too encumbered, but I don't, not too encumbered, is what I said, but I don't plan on necessarily leaving Mystery Lake. I would like to spend some time really looking around, finding the prepper cache, and hunting a moose, see if we can find one. So we're not in a hurry to blast through this zone, so for now, I'm going to leave that stuff there. Let me make sure that I have at least one can with me. I've got two. So those things can sit there. Let's set out into the world and see what else we can find. Wait a second. What's stinky? Fresh guts. We'll have those curing here. And the fresh wolf pelt. Okay, now with that being done, let me make a quick note of where that stuff is. <laughs> so I remember my note from the last one. Yeah, so it's definitely still there. Uh, I, I'm not going to note the one that's here because I, I only need to remember where one is and I'm going to lug it around. That's 2.2 pounds. I don't, I don't need multiple. So let's see, this is the trapper's cabin. beautiful. Let's get going. We still have some locations, obviously, to check for the prepper cache, and we're kind of, we're going to kind of move in the same direction as the direction we would like to move as we continue to hunt for the moose. So we're killing two birds with one stone, which is quite nice. I'm going to step back here and see what kind of loot I might be able to find. There is occasionally, not always, I don't think, I don't think this is a guaranteed spawn, but there's occasionally a backpack lying around right here. Thank you. I seem to recall that there are sometimes times where it, it doesn't spawn, but it's been a minute since I've verified that, so comment section can go to town. But it's a minor thing anyway. There's lots of sticks, but I'm, I'm going, I'm generally walking through areas for the next couple of minutes where I'm going to be able to find sticks and wood, so I'm not going to further burden myself with stuff for now. I do so look forward to having the moose hide satchel because at the current amount I'm carrying I would no longer be encumbered. And I'm just, I'm looking forward to that. By the way, because we are living in unusual times, I want to go ahead and just say as a disclaimer and as a reassurance, if I sound congested or slightly different, because I think I might, I can't quite tell, but I'm fine. <laughs> I was up late playing on, or watching a friend play Assassin's Creed, and so I slept in and got up, just recently got a shower, and am now recording. Normally I record a little bit after, after some, you know, once some time has passed, so that you don't hear 
what you might be hearing now that I'm describing to you. But if I sound a little congested, it's just that. It's because I've been breathing moist air whilst preparing for my day. And it should fade as I play through here. I could feel it as I was sitting down to record. I'm like, man, <laughs> feel congested. Always do. But it'll go away. Normally I wouldn't say anything, but I, I, don't, I don't want people to worry. There's enough worry in the world right now. I will tell you if you need to worry about me. Alright, so we are walking straight towards where we could find the mystery lake prepper cache. We've checked several locations already. Hmm. Looking like no dice up here, but I will go a little bit higher up this ridge just to be sure. It's looking like no dice. Okay. That makes me sad. Uh, slope. Give me off the slope. Off the slope. Thank you. Yeah, so it's it's not here. This is just... I'm, I'm climbing this so that I have a vantage point over the unnamed pond. So I can look for the bear or a moose. Because supposedly... up. Oh, hey, look who's down there. It's our friend. Okay, well let's... Let's visit the hunting blind real quick, because we can probably duck in there without pissing the wolf off. Or pissing the bear off. <laughs> I was thinking of the bear, but then that wolf howled and snuck its way into my sentence. See, I don't want to get a sprain on the way down toward the bear. How am I doing on bandages? I got four. Okay. Alright, slope's gone. That makes me feel a little better. Dead guy, dead deer, live bear, <laughs> and a hunting blind that might have some things, like a bow and an arrow. Awesome. And I don't need the simple tools. I'll pick up the whetstone, stash it somewhere once I have the chance. Is that it? That's it. Ignore me, bear. I'm not really here. At least he's there. At least it's not the phantom bear. Because that's always nerve-wracking, going over this hill, right? As far as I know, the phantom bear is still a thing in the current version of The Long Dark. But I'd prefer not to have to deal with it. And it usually... When the phantom bear bug occurs, has always been on this hill. You, you hear a bear, you think you're... Or maybe you don't hear a bear. What was it? Like, you think you're home free. You know there's supposed to be a bear around. And then you're climbing this hill, and all of a sudden he's right next to you. It's freaking terrifying. If anyone ever talks about the Phantom Bear of Mystery Lake, that's why. That's why these legends exist. It's kind of like the legend of finding things in the frickin' visor of a car. Only real. Only it can actually happen to you. Maybe that's the difference between a legend and an urban legend. Alright, so there's another potential purple cash location kind of up that away which we will check in a moment, but for now, we're going to duck into this solitary cabin here. I'm out of painkillers, and there's a pretty good chance that painkillers are going to be in here. There's a, there's a very, very... I don't know if it's a guaranteed painkiller spawn, but there's a very high rate painkiller spawn. Let's, let's say that. No dead guy this time, so I guess that means no painkillers as well.
Okay. I'm disappointed. Mystery Lake, you're you're kind of being a dick. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Mystery Lake's not being not being very nice to me this run. Let's find the prepper cache and see if it changes its mind. I'm kind of hoping that the clothing prepper cache spawns, which is one of the ones we haven't checked yet. And and by the way, I'm fairly certain I haven't seen Ah, uh, you know, one thing I haven't been doing this this video is I haven't really been looking very diligently for antler marks on trees. I might have missed some. So imagine if you guys were watching while I was talking. You can let me know. But I haven't seen any. So... That's usually our indicator of where we will find a moose. Don't have a problem taking a moose down, because I have this bad boy. What was the last time I killed a moose in Against All Odds? Was it on the bridge in Desolation Point? That was a fun one, because I got him right in the thumbnail. That's probably one of my favorite thumbnails from the past... hundred or so videos, past fifty or so videos on the channel. In the more recent content. Moose square in the sights of the rifle as it charges at me. It's a cool thumbnail. It's an Against All Odds Season 5.5 if you want to look for it. Okay. I'm going to veer to the left here. And look for more prepper caches. This is the, the clear cut. Obviously. And up there... Is the old tower. For now, we just want to hang out. Hang on. Do I need to go up there? I'm trying to remember where... There's a prepper cache up one of the slopes. Hmm. Okay. I'm checking every location I can remember. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. This is kind of, sort of, what I was looking for. Like a slope with a bunch of trees. There are a couple of potential prepper cache locations back here, relatively close together. I have never, ever, in all of my long dark play, not that I've played for thousands of hours like some people I know and love, but I've never found prepper caches back here that I can recall. I've found prepper caches typically at the locations we've already checked. And at the location that I was just describing, the clothing prepper cache. Oh, wow. The day's actually clearing. This is a very nice day in Mystery Lake. If I may say so. It's quite nice. Alright, so let's kind of step up here to where the ground levels off and look around a bit. See if we have any firsts. So I, again, I don't recall ever finding the prepper cache back here, but there are first times for everything. Is, is that? Hang on. I saw like a mound of snow on the ground back in this corner against the rock and I want to check. No, don't sprain me. Don't sprain me. Take me off the slope, please. 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 Thank you. Okay, no, that's just just a little just a little uh, tiny mound of snow against that rock. Alright. I want to try though to Spot for prepper caches from up here. Can I? Not really. Too many trees. Okay, let's go back this way. Yeah, there was, there was one potential location that was just beyond the cabin that I was just in, where the lay of the land, as I began to leave the cabin, didn't quite match what I was thinking I would find, as far as looking for it. <laughs> I, can hear, I can hear myself sounding congested. 
I'm fine, y'all. I'm just kind of scouring around this general area because I know that there are a couple that can spawn here. Here's a rock, and Prepper Caches love to hide, like, around rocks, so... Somebody made this, this joke in the comments already. I think it was, uh... One of my... Crossover viewers from Athenon's channel. But every time I see, every time I see, uh, every time I say... Uh, Prepper Cash. I also think of Paprakash. And, uh... It's starting to make me hungry. <laughs> want some chicken paprikash. If you've ever had someone who knows how to make really good chicken paprikash for you, you know what I'm talking about. And I have. Actually, the, the people that made that for me, a long, long time ago, uh, were the, were, they made it in the way that was like sinfully unhealthy, but delicious. <laughs> Here. I haven't been back this direction too much and against all odds. This is kind of fun. I haven't been all the way up here. I'm just trying to stay off slopes. I'm gonna kind of come up here and look back at that rock face. Make sure I didn't overlook anything. I don't think so. I just don't want to, uh, let one of these sneak by me because I'm not getting too close to the top here. So let me... Because, I mean, look at how this happens. Look at the way this creeps down towards the edge. There can be all kinds of stuff hidden over this lip, if you want to call it that. Like, look, look at this. Look, look, at, look at this. Look at that steep slope down into this corner. What if they put a proper cache there just to be trolls? What if they did? That, that would be... Amazing, is what it would be. Once we figured it out. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. Hungry, huh? That, my dear, is a solvable dilemma. Let's see. I don't have a lot of water on me. Interesting. So, with that in mind, let's not eat anything particularly... dry, like saltines. And I'm actually gonna... Oh, okay, I don't need that. You know what I could do with that, though? Free stick. Alright, let's keep moving this way. And we're gonna make our way down around the... Clear cut. And maybe by the end of this episode, we might be able, or maybe maybe at the beginning of the next one, might be safe to say at the beginning of the next one, we'll be near the clothing cache location and see if perhaps it's there. We've kind of skirted around the outside of the zone here. I'm staying at the top because I, number one, because it's fun and I'm exploring. Number two, because I really don't know definitively where these caches spawn. And just to remind you, I am very, very well geared at this point. The only reason I'm still looking for a prepper cache is I'm being, I suppose, a, oh, hello. Hello, massive slope. I'm being a bit of a perfectionist. All right, this is, I think, one of the, yeah, this is a spawn location is what this is. I'm going to sneak down, straight down this way, and hope for the best. Yeah, I'm being a bit of a perfectionist, I'm being a bit of a completionist, and I want to see if I can get either gauntlets, or, or potentially both gauntlets, and the mucklucks. That would be very, very lucky. It would be better than the gear I had in Against All Odds Season 5, which is kind of what I'm going for. We are still relatively early in the season here. There we go. 
the world has not turned too cold yet. Oh, I don't have anything to actually fix the pain. Sadly. I can I can fix the sprain. Now, causing blurred vision and discomfort, treat it or let it heal on its own over time. Okay, well, we're going to just deal with pain for a while. Haven't had to do this yet, and this is a relatively new mechanic, so we're going to learn as we go here. Oh, boy. Let's not cause my character any more pain. Nice. Yeah, this is a... Does this look familiar? Should look familiar. This is a start location in Mystery Lake. This is where you would be in one of many potential starts. So this is going to take us back down towards the back of the clear cut, and we're going to cut left, no pun intended, and that'll take us to the logging camp area, which that might be a pretty good stopping point for this episode, and then we will investigate the prepper cache. Specifically the clothing prepper cache location, because that's one of the only ones, assuming I've looked in the right spots. Hey, it's a cairn. Let's see if this one's been written. <sighs> Backer 4123, slacking off. All right, so you can see up there the... Really? Really? I'm trying to show my viewers around Mystery Lake, game. I'm trying to showcase your beauty. Stop spraining me. It's rude. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I can feel my, uh... Sinus is clearing a little bit. Thankfully. It's not just that I don't want to sound congested when I record. It's genuinely uncomfortable to talk for long periods in this kind of commentary fashion. Because, I mean, yes, you don't want to sound congested, you want to sound clear and crisp, but also, there are just more little noises that might make their way into the mic, and I don't know about you guys, but when I'm recording my voice, I'm extremely, like, I'm hypervigilant for stuff like that. You have to, it's just something that if you're into any kind of recording, you have to be mindful of because all you want the mic to pick up is the sound of your voice every now and then I've joked in against all odds because like if I'm hungry while I'm recording I'm not hungry in the game hungry outside of the game every now and then my stomach would make like a very loud rumble like feed me and I'm like oh thanks and if I don't remember to edit that out later but yeah when you, when I'm congested there's all kinds of like like my breath can catch I'm breathing through my nostrils or my mouth, like it, it, so it creates a generalized feeling of just a little bit of anxiety, I guess. Like it's not as comfortable. You can't just sit and relax and have fun. So it's not just that I, sorry, a lot of meta commentary right now, but uh, it's not just that I want to avoid sounding congested to not worry people or just to sound like a professional <laughs> content creator. There's a wolf. Right there. Logging camp is up here to the right. And the clothing prepper cache is straight that way. So we really have skirted around the outside of Mystery Lake. We still have some exploring to do, and I would still like to find a moose somewhere. We'll see what we can do. 
I'm hopeful that- I, I'm gonna look around here before we end the episode. I'm hopeful that we find something interesting here at the, the logging camp. This is three looting locations that I haven't been in yet. Hey, dear. I wasn't expecting you. I heard you, and they kind of scared me. But... Okay. Once I fully scouted the zone, we're gonna we're just gonna old school style hang out in Mystery Lake for a while. Do a little bit of hunting, maybe. There's another cooking pot. Interestingly enough. Do I need to grab that one? Should I? I'm relatively close to the you know what? I'm gonna grab that. I'm going to be sleeping soon anyway. It, yes, it's two extra pounds of encumbrance, but I'm going to take it back to the office. Oh, how did I completely miss you? Well, this stuff will come in handy. Wood matches and beef jerky on a random corpse. I'll take it. I'm going to get these rose hips too because I'm out of painkillers. So rose hips cannot afford to be skipped. Plus, I've been talking so much about how we have excellent gear. I don't want the bug of overconfidence to bite me in the butt right now. All right, got some accelerant, another storm lantern, which I'll break down momentarily. Nothing in that. Speaking of lanterns, actually, let me... No, no, no. I don't know why I'm going through my guns. There we go. Just to make things a little bit clear, don't want to overlook things in any nooks or crannies. Not a lot going on in this first one, aside from the Storm Lantern. We found lots of Storm Lanterns. It's, it's been nice. Moostery Lake, you are being a jerk. Why are you doing this? What did I do to this? What, what did I do to you to deserve this? I have only ever ragged on Pleasant Valley, never on you. I have only ever... S oh, hey, cargo pants. I'll take it. Not that I need them, because I have snow pants. But I can break those down in a bit, so I'll carry them with me for a moment and have that extra bit of cloth. Uh, I would say I don't need the reclaimed wood. Getting a bit thirsty. You'll be okay. All right, I'm gonna step in here and look around, and then we'll call this a day. Ooh, that. Okay, Mystery Lake, you just won me some, or won yourself, some points back from me. Fan-freaking-tastic. Antibiotics? Okay, alright. And was, there was that beef jerky a moment ago, which is nice. Put this away. Now, just for a moment before we end here, I need to do a couple of things. Let me, first of all, prepare these. I could eat anything right now. Do I really have nothing to drink apart from this? Before I sleep, I'm going to need to go out there and make some water in that stove, which is totally doable. I can do that, but... Let's see. Let's eat a couple of these. Just to keep those 
threats at bay. While I harvest some other things. Oh, yeah. Really, it's going to take an hour to harvest that, though? You know what? See, I kind of don't even want to waste that hour. Like, I want to just drop that and not worry about it. But I guess what we'll do is hold on to it until a better time. But I can definitely... It's going to take 54 minutes to repair this. I won't repair it yet, but we're going to put this on... Oh, yeah. Awesome. There's an improvement to our gear right there. And on that note, let me step outside. Step back inside. And we will stop this one here. In the next one, we're going to check out that clothing location, which has a pretty good chance of being there. I'm excited. I don't know if I overlooked any of the Prepper Cash locations in this. Still thinking about proper cash and getting hungry. I apologize if I'm having the same effect on any of you. But I don't know if I had any Prepper Cash locations overlooked in this episode. But we will definitely be looking for that one because that's the one that I want to find. If it's there, that's the one that I want to be there. And it's the one that is... is is, has a very, very good chance of being there. So I'm, I'm excited about that, and you guys should be too. But uh, then we will continue checking some of the locations we haven't been to yet. We'll go up to one, maybe both of the watchtowers. By the way, that reminds me, I forgot about one of the climbing ropes. So there was some discussion in, I think, the last episode about how many ropes are there in Mystery Lake. First of all, I do count the climbing spot near the lake, which is um, along the river between the lake and the dam, close to the lake. I count that as one rope. It's a two-stage climb. So, yeah, when I'm counting ropes, it's, that's technically two ropes. But there's another one. There's the one that, and I think this might be one you have to set up. I don't think it's in the game by default. But there is one where you climb down from one of the tower locations. So there are more in Mystery Lake that, that I, I didn't think about. And if there are any others that I'm forgetting beyond that, we can talk about it in the comments as well. But just to clarify on that, that was one thing that uh, kind of came up that we discussed. Did I already make a save point since I did my stuff? Let me just make sure that I did. All right, and on that note, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.